Hey everybody, Josiah Smith, PA, and again, Renee, you're gracing us with your presence again. So today we are going to discuss peptides, specifically thymosin alpha-1. What thymosin alpha-1 is, it is a thymosin peptide, so when we're by age 30, the thymosin gland is all shriveled up. The thymosin peptide is a natural uh, peptide which actually is a short, short sequence of amino acids which helps with the immune system. It's been used and it's been documented in a lot of the research. There are clinical trials for HIV, hepatitis, uh, cancer, and we're using this today with Renee for her chronic reactivated Epstein-Barr virus. And what we're gonna do is, it's going to be infused into a bag of saline. So we actually get our thymosin alpha, one from TaylorMade Pharmacy, which is a compounding pharmacy in Kentucky, and probably, in my opinion, one of the best in the country at this point. So we're going to infuse it over about 20 minutes, and this is a loading dose, which is going to help boost her immune system. And we're gonna talk a little bit about her story while she is getting the infusion, okay? So we just put it right in here and put it right in there and it'll be infused in 200 cc's of saline. So Renee, let's hear your story a little bit about Epstein-Barr. So I had a full Epstein-Barr virus panel done to see what's going on, is it dormant, is it active? Um, and every marker came back that it's reactivated. So, and how, you, yeah, so here. she's here. See, <laughs> seeing us. But how has it affected your overall health and well being the last, say, uh, month or two? Would you say? Just knowing that it's back or? Knowing it's back and how you are physically feeling. Yeah, I mean, uh, fortunately, I feel like I know what to do a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I added a lot of antivirals in, I'm sleeping more and prioritizing sleep more. I'm really being careful with my diet. Um, I'm starting to feel better within one month of doing that, but yeah. I wanted to, like, so she, it even more. she wants to increase it even more because she is a biohacker babe. <laughs> it's a little plug for her podcast with her yeah. sister. She wants to take it to the next level. And this is where ultimately peptides come into play. And again, that's where the thymus and alpha helps with the production of natural killer cells in the body. And it's been shown to help with Epstein-Barr, Lyme's, autoimmune disease, cancer it's also antimicrobial so there are so many things that it can do and help upregulating the immune system a typical protocol would be daily injections to help but mm -hmm. she's getting a loading dose what she would do in a month she's getting a big increase in a short period of time and that should be very helpful and sometimes we'll complement this with uh, other peptides and lifestyle regimes so this will give her an enhanced state of immune function and upregulation and helping her completely overcome her Epstein-Barr virus so by the way even Epstein-Barr virus is rampant so many people have it and it's not looked at very regularly in the conventional medical system so if you think you have epstein-barr virus or some autoimmune condition or some mysterious illness seek out a well-qualified functional medicine uh, provider and if you want to take it to the next level find one that does regenerative biologics with peptides nad and even uh, regenerative technologies like uh, exosomes so with that, we are wishing Renee a complete recovery and crushing it every day. Thanks, guys. <laughs>